you explain what it actually means for the, the High Court to have ruled that uh, that Michael Gove and his department have acted unlawfully? Because, you know, lots of people hear this, is that he's acted unlawfully. Why isn't he going to jail? Why isn't he subject to criminal sanctions? So could you, you know, law for beginners, I suppose, explain the implications when a government department is found guilty of having acted unlawfully? If you're running a public law case on the grounds of bias, you tend to ask the question whether there is apparent bias. In other words, would a reasonable observer think that the contract uh, was awarded through favouritism? Because if you show apparent bias, uh, that leads to a finding that the contract was unlawful. If you're arguing in a different context, if you're trying to bring a criminal prosecution for, um, for example, misconduct in public office, you would have to show um, that there is actual bias. Uh, we brought a public law case, one of the reasons we brought a public law case is because um, as members of sort of civil society rather than the police force, we don't have the power to compel the production of evidence by um, Dominic Cummings, by uh, Michael Gove, uh, by Number 10, because, you know, there's evidence too that Number 10 was pushing for contracts to go to public first and Ambry. And because we can't compel the production of evidence, it's very difficult for us to get over the um, very high hurdle of proving um, actual bias, proving misconduct in public office, which you have to prove sort of beyond reasonable doubt if you want to prove a criminal, um, if you want to prove that there's been a criminal offence committed. So... um, no, uh, no one goes to prison in consequence of this decision. Um, there should, as I've already explained, be consequences. Um, the effect is to expose um, yet another cabinet minister to have acted unlawfully in handling pandemic procurement. The project has a whole slate of cases. Um, It should cause uh, political embarrassment to government. It does make government look um, like what it is in the public sphere, which is um, irresponsible and law-breaking. But those are fundamentally political rather than legal costs attached to um, this decision. Julian Morm, the founder of the Good Law Project.